Hey guys, it's Janie. Welcome back to the Bookworms Buddy. And today I have a top five Wednesday for you. Um, top five Wednesday started with Lainey over at Ginger Reads Lainey. And I will link to her channel in the description bar below. And also I will link to all the other top five Wednesdayers so you can go visit all of them. So this week's top five Wednesday is top five books devoured. And this was really hard for me because I have devoured a lot of books simply because I loved them. So it was a little bit difficult to make the choices, but I think I got it. So let's get started. Coming in at number five for me was Edgewise by Graham Masterton. Graham Masterton writes paranormal horror and he is the best at it. I mean, in my opinion. Um, one of the things that I like about Graham Masterton is he throws in a bit of history in his book. So you get a little bit of history, mystery, horror, paranormal, all of that wrapped into one book. And he is fabulous. Now, it, it, it does get a little vivid on some of the scenes in the book, but um, yeah, if you want to read a really good, creepy, horrorish kind of book, check out Graham Masterton. He's really hard for me to get over here because he's from the UK. I think I only have like seven of his books. I'd really like to be able to get more, but I have to get them when I see them. So yes, yeah, so number five, Edgewise. Coming at number four, I chose The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. This book was such a great book. I think it was like among the first books that I read of the year. And um, so touching and, and I mean, it, you get everything. You get sadness and you get happiness, love and understanding. And the writing was beautiful. And um, I read this book so quickly, like a couple days tops, and it was just fantastic. Coming at number three for me is Identical by Ellen Hopkins. Y'all know I love Ellen Hopkins. Like, I devour all of her books in less than a day each because, well, for one, she writes in verse, but she just touches on all these issues that um, young adults and teenagers um, have to come to terms with on a daily basis and she touches on a lot of issues um, she's a beautiful writer she's poetic um, and she makes you feel something you're gonna feel something when you read her books so yes she comes in at number three coming in at number two for me is patient zero um, this is part of the Joe Ledger series. Actually, I have to say the whole Joe Ledger series I am devouring in like a day or two for each book. Um, there's something in them for everyone, I think. Uh, it's not... His series is all about terrorism and different forms of that. So for this one, terrorists um, make a serum that turns people into zombies. Um, and then there's another one where they make creatures are created and the one I'm going to be reading this month is on aliens, so it's been a really extraordinary ride. I've loved every book so far, so yeah. And coming in at number one for me, Angel Fall. And I had to say the Angel Fall series because I loved Angel Fall and World After. This is by Susan E. The characters are beautifully created. The world is beautifully created. Um, the imagery is great. And you can just feel yourself in the story. And I love Rafi. Love him. So, this is just, all I can say, it's fantastic. And I read this in a day. I don't have World After right now. My niece is reading it. Uh, I'm sure she's already finished it. And she's just not brought it back. But this is fantabulous. So, if you want to read a really good angel story, then check out Angel Fall by Susan E. It's wonderful absolutely wonderful and that is my top five for this week um thanks guys for staying tuned make sure you check out those links and we'll catch you in the next video bye